Now what are the different type of charts that we are using? Okay, so for the price versus time chart, please note that actually point and figure chart it should be separate. So there are three charts for price and time: line chart, bar chart, and candlestick chart. Then you have another type of chart which is called as a point and figure chart. This is only the price and not time. Okay, right? Now the price scale it can be two type of scale. Okay, one is a linear scale wherein the price movement is linear, or you can use the log scale. Since we know that the stock prices they follow log normal distribution, it may be useful to have this log scale. It is it is a much better scale. Okay, then you have a volume chart. This volume chart it will graph the volume versus the time. Okay, and let's see example of each of these chart type. Okay, an example of line chart on S and P C N X Nifty. If you see from June two thousand thirteen to uh, to yesterday, you see that this is the price pattern. Okay, so here this is a line. So the we are saying that over here this axis is the price and this axis is the time. Okay, so in June this was a price and then it is moving. So here it's a, a smooth line that you are drawing. Right, so a smooth line you are drawing and these are closing prices. So these are plotting the closing prices. So this is your end of the last day closing price. So if you see twenty seven November the closing price was. Six zero five seven, and that is being represented over here. So these are the closing prices. Now here you plot only the closing prices, but in technical analysis, also the open price, high, low are useful for our analysis. So this is used by people over a long period of time, but it is not that much useful. So what we have is we have another chart which is bar chart. Okay, in a bar chart notation, what we do is okay, we have open. So left part is open. Okay, then you have the peak is the high that has reached. This is the low that is reached, and then you have the close. Now this close can be below the open or it can be above the open. When it is below the open, you can put a red line. Okay, when it is above, you can put the green line. Or many people what they do is if it is it is above, then you they use this. Uh, okay. Uh, It, no, it it can be like black throughout because it can be see uh, if this close is below, it means that it is decrease. If it is above, it means it is increase. But many times, many uh, to identify people use red and green line. So this is your open, okay? This is your low, this is your high, and this is your close. So you can see open is six zero nine nine, okay? High is six one one two. Low is six zero four seven and close is six zero five nine point one. So this is how you have. And similarly here, open is six zero three five, okay, and close is six one one five. This is high and this is. So if you see over here, the open is close. So that's why you do not see this is extending. So open is the close. So open is the low, okay. So that's why you have this as a chart pattern. This means that open price was the lowest price that we observed. Typically, that happens in when the market price increases a lot. See that here the increase is two percent. Okay, now this is your bar, bar chart notation. If you see, I have used the green to denote high uh, uh, increase and red to denote decrease over the period. So the same period of the line chart, but now this this is conveying more information because you see that okay, this is the low. It became this, but finally it managed to close here. So this kind of chart it gives you much better idea as compared to the line chart which was showing only the closing item. Then there is another chart which is your candlestick chart. Candlestick chart has been uh, founded by the Japanese. Okay, so it is being used from 1600s only. Right, they it is being used in the rice futures market. Okay, now in a candlestick it is similar to your uh, OHLC chart bar chart, but Here, if you see, there is it looks like a candle with this as its wick. Okay, so you have this as the open. Okay, this is the close. This is the maximum price high, and this is the minimum price low. Okay, and we can use the bodies. We we say that if the close is more than the open, it is white body, or some places it use green. Okay, if the close is less than the open, then it is red body or black body. And these are your week. So it depends if the market. Sometimes like uh, candlestick are like this. Okay, wherein high is very high, low is very low. 
it opened and the close so it can be uh, like this pattern right so this is your candlestick pattern so we'll see the next diagram so see that this is your candlestick pattern over here see the week over here okay so it it uh, this was open and this was a close so it did close higher but it it in intraday it decrease a lot so here if you see intraday it was very high but it closed uh, low so this kind of pattern will help you to and there are like lots of different idea about the patterns we don't have to worry about uh, those like when this black it covers white full what happens all those things but this is your one chart pattern a point and figure chart uh, is being used to determine the security uh, uh, prices okay in this uh, what we do is we choose a box size okay so typically a box size is chosen as dollar 1 it means that as the stock prices increases or decreases by dollar 1 then only you will plot in the point and figure chart okay as an example if the stock price increases by dollar 1 you will put a cross sign if it is decreasing by dollar 1 you will put a circle sign so cross is is shown in blue and circle is in red it means that it is decreasing right so what we can say is if the stock price is decreases by dollar 2 then you will put two circle if it decreases by dollar 5 then you will put five circle okay now you will change you please note that if you see that uh, this entire red are in one column entire cross are in one column you do not put red and cross in the same column right so that is the uh, so it means that the prices are decreasing okay now if the price starts increasing okay it is not that after a one dollar movement you will switch okay typically to in to change to change the direction from decrease to increase it has to change by more so typically many people they take dollar three that means if the price is decreasing and if it increases by more than dollar three then only you will change you will move from here to here otherwise you will not do anything so as an example if it is moving by dollar one point five you will not do anything right so and also when it is changing please note that this is a circle the next one you will draw one above okay when if if, if you see here it was increasing 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 the next it is changing it is decreasing you will plot one below right now this type of chart it is usually done it can be done intraday but usually done on the closing basis right so please note that it means that the stock prices is decreasing it means that the stock prices is increasing okay decreasing then increase then decrease increase but what happens is this is a good uh, way to come up with idea okay what would be the support line resistance line that we will see okay but you see can say that okay the price is finding it difficult to go beyond this level so it increase see it increase 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 but it could not again it came back okay like that way it will it is useful to identify some pattern so please note that okay the point to remember circles are to be filled only in one column okay it means that decreasing uh, from here decreasing decreasing if it changes by more than dollar three then you will move to another column if it is increasing okay you put again then decreasing more by dollar three it comes over here so like that way it can be entirely it can be drawn okay now the next is a volume chart in the volume chart is nothing it is a time and here you are showing volume so 20,000 volume 15,000 so it is it is uh, showing the how the volume is so people they try to understand uh, uh, the price movement with respect to the volume so volume has to back up the price movement if the price is increasing if the volume is not increasing then the people way the technical analyst becomes susceptible regarding the price increase okay now there are two type of scale that we are using linear scale and uh, a log scale in a linear scale you see that the difference of this line are same there is thousand two thousand thousand difference this is thousand difference this is thousand difference all the differences are thousand and this is how you have uh, plotted right so whereas so this is a uh, good but typically what happens is most of the people are interested in the percentage increase in the uh, stock prices so here if you see this percentage increases 100 percent from 100,000 to 2,000 but from 2,000 to 3,000 it is only 50 percent and this is 33 percent so for drawing it is not good pattern because we want the percentage change to remain constant and that can be achieved through another scale which is your log price scale so you see the log price scale okay 
this difference is constant and this difference is same okay so from 500 it is becoming 1000 twice from 1000 it is becoming twice 4000 and then you would have 4000 here from 2000 it is becoming twice like that so please remember that this one bucket that you have not this one but this bucket and this bucket size is same it means that it is the stock price is going double this is a better chart so please note that okay most of the technical analysis they use log price scale 